In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the thermostat on your Toyota Tundra. Remove the radiator cap. Remove the three bolts in the rear of the skid plate. There's one here, there should be one here, and one more here. We only have this one. Same thing in the front, there should be another three. Two of ours are broke, and we only have one. Remove this one. There's little hooks on the back of the skid plate that'll hold it up. Tilt up, push up, and then pull back, and remove the skid plate. Twist this white cap, open it up, make sure you have a bucket under it, and start to drain the coolant. Make sure you tighten the drain plug on the radiator. Install the skid plate. There's two hooks that'll hook into this front cross beam. Remove the plastic cover using a 10 millimeter socket. Be two nuts on either side. Pull the cover straight up. Using a 10 millimeter socket, remove the bolt for the power steering line bracket. Loosen the clamp on the intake snorkel. Using a 10 millimeter, loosen the clamp. Pull it straight forward and then to the side. Pull the clamp back on the upper radiator hose and we're going to pull this hose off. Using a 12 millimeter socket or wrench, we're going to remove the three nuts off of the thermostat housing. There's two on top. And the third is on bottom. Before you remove this, make sure you have a bucket under you to collect anything that drips out. Wiggle back and forth. Remove the thermostat housing cover. Using a screwdriver, remove the thermostat from the cover. We're going to clean the two mating surfaces with a light abrasive. You could use like sandpaper. We're going to use some brake parts cleaner on a clean rag and wipe the mating surface. There's a channel on the inside of the gasket. Install that onto the side of the thermostat. Just fit like this. Install the thermostat. Install the housing cover. Install the three nuts. And we're going to snug them down. Torque these nuts to 14 foot-pounds.
install the radiator hose. Reinstall the clamp, grab the air intake, install it onto the air box and the intake manifold and snug down the clamp. Reinstall the power steering hose bracket. Install the plastic cover. Two nuts on top. And snug them down. Add coolant. You want to make sure it has this gurgle. If it's not gurgling, it means the whole system is not sealed and there's going to be a leak somewhere. Once you fill your radiator, leave the cap off, start the vehicle, run the vehicle for 15 minutes or so. You can turn your heat on high, make sure there's no bubbles coming out. With the heat on, if you're having cold pockets, the system's not fully bled. Wait until you have consistent heat and make sure your engine doesn't overheat. Install the radiator cap. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.